Hello and welcome to tonight's show. Love. Love can be wonderful. Love can also be great. But what happens when love is abused for all the wrong reasons? Should men of high value or even men of not high value even consider getting married? Well, I'm going to give you my controversial thoughts right here on The Shit Show. So let's get right into this topic. Why men should not get married on The Shit Show. It's your host with the most, Bane Allen. So now we're going to get into this topic for today of why men should not get married. Because you got to look at it like this. Any man that gets married, the odds are stacked against them 100% from the time a man says I do or from a time a man ejaculates a baby into a woman and once that woman is pregnant you can forget about it that man has no more power he has the power you transferred all your masculinity you transferred all your power and you transferred all your abilities into her. Men don't run shit in this country. Women do. Men are powerless to the system. They have absolutely no say so. A woman, she can have a child without your permission. And they can gain extra finances coming straight from you. And you know what? It is absolutely nothing as a man that you can do about it. I think personally, the word love should be changed in the dictionary. It should be changed to, (laughs) you're about to lose a lot of money. Child support is a scam. Marriage is the biggest scam of all. And what's crazy about it is there is no reform. A woman can play the best acting job ever if she's out for a man's money. She's not in love with you. She's in love with the lifestyle that you perpetuated to her. And the kids, huh? the kids ain't nothing but just a bonus. What men need to understand is a lot of women don't give a fuck about you. Or anything that you got going on in your life. They can care less what's going on with you. And how you dealing with life. Or whatever you got going on in your life. If you make that mistake of getting that woman pregnant. And making that mistake of marrying that woman without a prenup. And you screw up being a father. Or if you screw up being even a a bad husband in marriage. She's going to screw you big time. So in the Bible, God created man. And the man gave up his rib to create who? The woman. So therefore, the woman was supposed to let the man lead. And uh, she was supposed to follow. But these days, that's not even true. That'll never happen again in some cases. But not all cases these days to me that outlook is outdated because say for instance you go to court 
They want you to swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. So help you God. But they want you to follow their rules. So where in the Bible, where does it say that you have to have a birth certificate? That's man-made bullshit. Where in the Bible does it say you have to have a marriage license to love someone? Once again, man-made bullshit. A marriage certificate is nothing but a contract with the state. And what does that mean? Once you sign that contract, it is not meant to work in your favor. Not only is the government in charge of the marriage, the woman is appointed the leader. So when you got out there, worked your ass off, saved your hard earned money, went and bought you a house, you met a nice beautiful woman, moved her in your house, got married and had kids by this woman. Then all of a sudden she's not happy and files divorce papers on you. For whatever reason, they don't even have to have a reason. They can say irreconcilable differences or they can just say you had infidelities. You know what I'm saying? And um, your house is now hers. Your finances are now hers. You are financially responsible for her and the children's well-being. Everything that you've done, everything that you work for is gone. You don't have shit. All you have to do is just tuck your tail and you got to start all over again. Man, that's crazy. How just by signing two contracts with the government can destroy a man's livelihood and destroy his manhood because now you have to pay alimony and you have to pay child support all because of those two contracts that you signed the only leg that the, a man has to stand on is if the woman wasn't a fit mother and believe me your signature is nothing but a second option I tell men all the time, you meet a woman, do your research on her ass. Meet her parents, have talks with the family and friends. Cause like men are good actors to get the pussy. Women are Academy Award winning actresses to get your money. Look at all the stars and athletes that had to shut out millions and millions of dollars to a woman that absolutely did nothing to get them where they are today. Some of them were alongside of them, but majority of these men, when they got fame, they met women that were on the outside, not on the inside. And they ended up getting screwed for millions upon millions upon millions of dollars, you know? Look at Bill Gates, $400 billion. Gee, that's crazy. But his wife was there with him. But all them times and all them years he wasn't with her. You mean to tell me that she couldn't make income on her own? She couldn't be a multi-billionaire on her own? But... The thing is this, Bill Gates signed a contract. He signed a marriage certificate and it cost him $65 billion. These men are prey to fall victim because these women know these men are gonna cheat. They know these men are gonna fuck up. Men with power have egos. And when you have money and you're gonna be doing everything that you do, you're gonna keep sticking your hand in the cookie jar, being greedy until your ass get caught. Some women stay because they say they love you and they will forgive you, 
but that's just a strike she has against you. You know what I'm saying? Now she always has something that she can use to hang over your head. A woman, she's never going to let that play down. She's never going to let that die down. You know what I'm saying? Her memory is perfectly fit like an elephant. You know, in her mind, it would always be, oh, and just like you cheated on me with so-and-so. Every argument. It could be about, you forgot to take out the trash. And she'll bring up, oh, just like you were cheating on me with so-and-so. Or, it was like, you forgot to pick up the kids. Or you was late picking up the kids. Oh, what were you doing out there cheating on me again with so-and-so? By that time... What a man needs to understand is he is now in a toxic marriage and he has two choices. Either take his losses or keep putting up with her bullshit every day. For me, if you're not in the situation to leave her, then it's cheaper to keep her. But if not, get the fuck away from her because... If she keeps doing things like that and she keeps pushing your buttons, it's going to turn ugly. It could turn very verbally abusive and definitely it can turn violent. And if it turns violent, guess who's going to jail? You. You know what they're going to say? Oh, well, we can't take her to jail because we have to leave her with the kids. Why you can't leave a man with the kids? She the one started the fight. But... 90% of the time, the man is always going to jail. They starting to take women to jail too, but not as much as they still taking the men to jail, okay? So, you know, as men, you know what I'm saying, we fall for these traps over and over again. An alpha male is being turned into a beta simp just by saying I do. You see all these women on these talk shows? They don't want love. Listen to them when they talk. They're always talking about they are looking for a high value man. Are all women like this? Absolutely not. There are some women out there that do love and care and will stay by their man's side through thick and thin and will stay with a man till death do us part. Now, society has changed. You got to look at it like this. When I was a kid and there was trouble in the home between the mother and the father, family and friends would come over with food, music, alcohol, and some counseling and help with the couples work it out. No therapist was needed because the community cared. We didn't want to see mommy and daddy break up, but eventually, you know, some did, some didn't. Some stayed together, some didn't stay together. But now times have changed. The woman hunts for the prey, just like the men. They can spot a sucker from a mile away. They can get a man all up in their DM, telling him, oh baby, I'm gonna do this for you. I can do that for you. I'm gonna take care of you. I'm gonna love you. You know what I'm saying? You don't need to be with that man or this man or no other man, I'm the man. So. She always got options. She always got backup. She always got a backup plan. So after she take your money, she always got another sucker so she can take his money too. Social media and the relationships don't mix whatsoever. Women are cheating at a high time level that's out of this world. And they cheating so much. All I see is a lot of men crying like now they the victim. So, you see how the roles have changed on a lot of these weak-ass men that can't handle the truth or can't handle when their woman is out there spreading her legs wide open to another man. And men don't understand, man. A lot of men think they got a good woman. A lot of men think they got a strong, faithful, I got your back woman. But a lot of women are very sneaky when they cheat they will break a man off on the side come home cook dinner give you some head and go on about her business like nothing never happened 
most men don't even find out they was getting cheated on until it's too late and the marriage is over she has her proof that you might have cheated or you might have did something wrong but you don't have no proof all you got is hearsay she actually has proof that you cheated so when it's time to get divorced he's taking that to court but you got to take to court nothing only thing you better take to court is your income and expenses that's it nothing more nothing less and you're the high value man and this is the lifestyle that she's accustomed to and that's what she's going to say in court so therefore it's over you're once again paying child support and alimony now you'll see your ex on facebook instagram tiktok and all these other media platforms fighting her ass off showing her true colors down to you talking bad about you why she at the club and all kind of other men's faces shaking her ass see me i don't trust nobody especially a woman because i know at some point of my relationship i know i'm gonna be betrayed i know at some point i'm going to be stabbed in my back and I always make sure I'm prepared for stuff like that. And you know what I'm saying? And that's just me. And I make sure I got my own shit with things in my name. I'm not getting married with a marriage certificate. A lot of men don't know. You can get married under the son of God without a piece of paper. The woman wants that paper. That paper is an insurance policy for just in case shit happens. Like when you cheat or when you are abusive to her or if she met someone else and she's tired of your shit and she has secured your bag and she's ready to move on. But for men, hey, you guys are all grown. It's your life. You have a right to do whatever you want. It's your choice. The Bible has nothing to do with society. And it's man-made rules. And it's man-made regulations. They groom you. And they train you to get married and have kids. They're telling you, oh man, this is the American way. Get married. Have kids. Have a good career, retire, get the kids grown, and live off in the sunset. Ah, that don't happen too often these days. But if you stay together, that's great. But what if you don't? Come on, men. What if you don't stay together? Do you have a backup plan? Because trust me, women have like 10 backup plans. They are already ready in 10 different directions. If things go wrong, they gone. Okay? So, I'm telling you men, man up. Get you a lawyer. Get a prenuptial agreement. And go through with it like a fine tooth comb. Go through everything from detail to detail to detail to detail to detail if you decide that you want to get married and throw your life away and make her ass sign it and if she don't sign it don't get married because if you have kids by her the only thing that can happen to you is if you guys break up you only have to pay child support if you get married and she don't sign that prenuptial agreement then you're going to have to pay alimony and child support. So instead of paying two incomes, you only have to pay one income. So I suggest if she doesn't want to do that, either you just stay with her in the relationship and you just or you just move on. Because see, she's not looking out for your best interest. She's looking out for her best interest. People fall out of love all the time. It's life. 
You know what I'm saying? It's just life. And every human being has the right to use their brain and make the best decisions possible in their lives. We can't control each other. We don't control each other's mindset. You know what I mean? We don't know what's going on in that other person's brain. But, you know, it's also been like high value women that had to pay alimony payments to men. Janet Jackson, Mary J. Blige, Madonna, Jennifer Lopez, and Mariah Carey. But, I mean, that's 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 a small percentage that we know about. And those women are famous and they wealthy rich, so... And plus, they're women anyway. They can they 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 can keep money in their pockets all day, every day. And women, a lot of women, manage their money a lot better than men too. So those women that I named, I'm sure they bounce back. Janet Jackson, I'm sure that didn't hurt her. Mary J, Madonna, Jennifer Lopez, and Mariah Carey. Come on, man. That didn't hurt them women's pockets one bit because they didn't have to pay as much as. The men do. But see, money and materialistic things is what we fight over all the time. And the main thing is, we don't forget the things that we've done for people. We don't forget the things that we have done for our family also. But the things we do forget is the value of life. We have so many riches that we don't even value. We don't value things like the sun, the stars, the moon, the trees, the grass, the water, even the air that we breathe. You know what I'm saying? When you wake up in the morning, you can see, you can hear, you can taste, you can smell. And the most important thing that you have is the ability to think. But society has made all of us blind and deaf and tasteless that we don't pay attention to none of these blessings that God has presented to us in front of our faces every single day of our lives you know what I'm saying you look at women today women are now bred to be independent women are now taught that they don't need a man men and women use each other like dental floss it's a lot of horrible men out there every man's not perfect some women have good men some women have bad men out there and you have men that you know treat women like shit dog them out beat their ass cuss them out call them every name in the book Just do them wrong, do them dirty. And just be so foul. So, you know, if a woman fouls on them, be honest, man, I really don't see a problem with that one. For a simple fact that, yeah, she needs to be compensated for her pain and suffering. Real talk. But I'm speaking to the good men that has had good intentions on being a good man and in life we all make mistakes both men and women and we will continue to make those mistakes I haven't met a perfect man or woman yet and I know in my lifetime I probably never will see women know they don't have to take no shit from a man because they will dangle child support over a man's head like it's a game then they will threaten to take everything you work for if she is married to you and the power the government has given to a lot of these brain dead women is a bunch of bullshit these women will never be held accountable for the evil shit that they do. They will never take responsibility for their fuck ups and their fucked up actions until men 
have to get up and demand reform and change. And if you don't do that, men, we will be screwed over and over and over and over again, every single time, all the time. If the shoe was on the other foot and all the women had to pay alimony and child support and the man had custody of the kids, trust me, reform will become immediately. Oh, they would change the law so fast it'll make your head spin really fast. Then when they do that, now we can all play on a level playing field. But the thing that happens to men, most men don't recover from the losses they take. Some of these men become angry. A lot of these men become bitter towards women. And a lot of these men fall into depression that nobody knows about. And when you look at them in their lives, a lot of these men are never, ever the same again. Because they're so messed up in the head. They're so mentally, physically, and emotionally damaged. It's just it's just sad. It's just really sad. So, I mean, who's going to help the man? No one. Because you're a man. And nobody wants to help you because you're a man. It's not about you no more. It's all about just the woman and the kid. They can care less about you. And the sad thing about it is most women will be single with kids like we see so much going on today. And yeah, they will die alone because that's the hole that they dug inside because they chose finance over romance. And I'm sure it was a good man out there that wanted to love a woman, be with a woman, cherish a woman, give her his all. But she didn't want to do that. You know what I'm saying? Because the game they play with child support and marriage, a lot of men are waking up, though, and refusing to play this game. Because men are tired of falling a victim to the demise and the humiliation and the destruction. We don't have to play the government's rules. We don't have to play, you know, these women's rules because they go hand in hand together. You know what I'm saying? It's them against us. Instead of working together, and benefiting all the people equally, the government sides with the woman 95% of the time because she produces life to keep pockets fat. And that's what it all boils down to. As long as a man can pump sperm in a woman and she can have babies, that's what the government wants to see. So if the man makes up, messes up makes a mistake the government is always going to side with the woman because the woman is the producer the woman is the one that produces the child she's the money maker if the woman don't produce the child she's worthless to the government because no child no income and that's just as God honest truth you know what I'm saying? So the government basically tell these ladies, yeah, make them babies. Lead a man. We got your back. As long as you can get him to sign those two contracts, that birth certificate and that marriage certificate, we gonna make sure you get your cut. But of course, we gotta get ours. Men need to realize Love is a business now. And that's just the way it is. If you want love, it's going to cost you. And depending on your income and what you're going to pay 
through their guidelines because their cut is always in place so she gets paid and the government gets paid you ever look at a birth certificate you ever look at the little small letters on the edges of the corners and see what they say they say department of treasury but that's for another story that i'm gonna get into somewhere later on down the line look no one is ever gonna tell you exactly what they thinking whether it's a man or a woman in life we will look at you and tell you what you want to hear on the surface because the brain can easily be pimped and manipulated you don't know what a person is thinking they can look you dead in your eyes and tell you they love you but their inner thoughts could be thinking the total opposite and this is how so many people are tricked and manipulated into thinking that someone loves them and that person has their best interest and not knowing that that person you sleep with is plotting on you and is waiting for the right time to turn their whole world upside down and stab you right in your goddamn back how many cases have you seen women killing their husbands for insurance money some women got caught but a lot of women didn't get caught how many times have you seen women hire people to kill their husbands and that's mostly in middle class white society to where if a woman knows if she divorces this man she's not gonna get much but that lump sum of insurance money sounds way much better you know what i'm saying when they say money is the root of all evil you better open your eyes and realize that shit is the truth people want to hear what other people got to say people listen to the wrong people people take the wrong advice from people you know we're living in a society now where people want to be heard people want to be noticed people want to be super duper seen look at me look at me look at me a lot of women are tired of living that boring stay home wife lifestyle a lot of women want that whole damn cake they want it all now they don't just want a little bit they want to really get out here and they really want to live their life and they don't want to be tied down with no man they want to go out and go go do some things they want to go live it up you know what I'm saying? And trust me, it's always a weak ass man that they gonna get. And they gonna get it from his weak ass because he gonna be the one to provide them everything that they need. You gotta look at it like this. We got all these Instagram models and only fans chasing the bag with millions and millions of simps lining up to be victims ask pj washington of the charlotte hornets and all these other wealthy men that have fallen victim to these made-up women that will never show you their true selves or their true looks or their true identity you men are falling for these kind of women are falling victim every day because you are letting your eyes be pimped by your brain and not letting your brain pimp your eyes but to break it down there are still some good loving wholesome women out there but 
they are dwindling very fast so fast that in five or ten years to come they will be super duper hard to find and if you do find one man you better hold on to her coupon counting ass and never let her go because if you don't you gotta be stuck with all these crazy uh clout chasing thought mamas out here in this world that don't care about nobody but they goddamn selves and they want that bag and i'm not putting all women in the same category that's what i'm not doing we know there's good women out there and we know there's some evil ass women out there i've had my share of both i've had good women in my life i've had evil women in my life i had women that loved me that i fucked up and screwed up my relationships with and i had women that said they loved me but stabbed me in my back dogged me out and put me in a lot of bad dispositions that i shouldn't have put myself into but i lived and i learned and what i did in life was i learned to study i just took a step back from life and i just learned to study women you know and to my conclusion to that is i learned to love myself first i had started to put myself first over putting my love and trust into someone else because what men don't realize is that's another totally different human being than you that's totally the opposite sex from you so the way you think as a man and the way she thinks as a woman is completely different and totally opposite of one another but I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up. I appreciate you listening to my show today. I want you to like my video, share my video, and please feel free to comment on my video because I answer all comments. I don't duck nobody. I take on whatever you bring my way head on. Thank you for listening to the shit show and have a wonderful day. Peace. Thank you and good night.